We did it all yesterday. Which is Vengeance, Bell of the Brawl, Reeve Soul, Witch Stalker. I do think this card is fine. I think this is power enough, powerful enough to first pick. Over the uh, Witch Stalker. Okay, well, there's another Witch Stalker here. There's a Ratter, Innkeeper, Tome Raider. All decent pickups, depending on which route I want to go. The Ratter doesn't really go with the Vengeance. Any of these other cards do. But we had a really nice red-blue deck yesterday, yeah, with the Ratter. I don't mind taking high upside. Oh, and now we have the Sage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Take the Egg here over the Opt. Hypnotic Sprite. Wow, another Witch Stalker! We would have had three, three Witch Stalkers already. Yeesh. Which of the Veils, great. Not really enjoying any of these cards, although... Like, Merfolk and Hengewalker are somewhat playable. Witching Well here over Skullknocker. Run away together is pretty solid. Apprentice is whatever. Ooh, yeah, wielding that tome, baby. Wheel that tome, baby! <coughs> Animating fairy, nice. I already have Witching Well and Golden Egg. Card does work. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. We have Tome Raider number two or Charmed Sleep number one. The Tome Raiders tend to wheel in, uh, on the arena bots, so I'm going to go with the Sleep. Oh man, Trail of Crumbs is also very nice. But Sora Lenore is pretty good. Lucky Clover with all the uh, Secret Keepers, lol. Griffin's nice. Paladin's good. Wolverine's fine. I think we take the Paladin here, just because we might not necessarily be playing uh, red. Oh yeah, another Sage is excellent. Another Paladin, nice. We'll see about these Secret Keepers. I'm at two now. Five didn't say pleases. What the heck? I think Flutter Fox might actually be the pick. Again, we're not locked into red. That would be my third Secret Keeper, but... I don't think I'm milling people out. I don't think that's my game plan. I think I want to just take the Tome Raider here. Chat, what do you think? I know you would rather have me mill, or a lot of you would rather have me mill, but... Eh, F it. This is pack two. I'm at, th I'm at three secret keepers. Fine. We'll do it. Wow, 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 wow. Piper of the storm. Or swarm, not storm. I think I'm going to take the fire of the dragon here. Oh, Piper with Mad Ratter. I'm not splashing, though. I think I'm going to take the fire over the dragon. Over the Piper. Pumpkin's very good. Ooh, another sprite, a tiny. Covetous Urge I do like a lot as well. This card is like overperformed for me every time, but it's also very good with the mill plan. I don't think we need the egg. I do have the uh, animating fairy, but I think I like taking the sprite. G. Kara is amazing, but I'm gonna go for the synergy here. There's another Reeve soul going by. 
sanctuary now over the didn't say please. <laughs> pick both, pick both. I'm taking the land. We don't need any more spells. Got the sideboard didn't say please anyways. Yeah, I think our best bet is just cutting all of the secret keepers. And just going like that. Yeah, mantle's not bad. I can cut a well for sure. This deck's looking nice. I can probably cut one more mountain for a, an island, I agree. I think 11-6 is probably good. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut the Wolverine since I'm cutting so many red sources. Looks good. I don't think it's as good as our red-blue deck from yesterday. But that one also had like four dwarves. Really? I think the, uh, the Griffin's Dece. This hand is not good, though. Okay. Time to top deck. I think I had two ratters in yesterday's deck, though. We had two ratters and then one improbable in our yesterday's deck. We'll take it. Give me some juicies. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go turn three flyer, turn four flyer, turn five flyer. GG. Uh oh. Let the hasties commence. Let the hasty O3s commence! <laughs> Double top? What the hell? That's cheating. If our opponent has Revenge of Ravens, then we just sideboard into the triple mill. No, but I'm allowed to double top. They aren't. Difference. Mm. Oh, baby. Uh-oh, they're gonna kill my Tome Raider. That was a bad attack with Tome Raider. Just for the record. But I didn't get punished. <laughs> You know what feels really good? Reeve Soul on Steel Gaze Griffin. Hey! Fine, I take it. I don't know if I got bamboozled there or if they actually have, like, the flank. That's right, our deck has two sages. Yeah, if they have that stupid uh, plus two, plus one in Death Touch card. Sorry, not the flank, whatever that, other, that Death Touch card is. It must be the Death Touch card. I'll make them use it here though, since we already have a Sage in our hand. Another one, that is to say. Right, that's what I meant. Not not the outflank. Good job, Melchior. Get him with the foods. Oh. 
Alright, well, we have him dead in two turns. Kind of. So Vantra's Paladin's gonna uh, trigger the Sage, which triggers our Griffin. Oh, that's a human! God, stupid humans. Making me look bad. <laughs> stupid humans. Goddamn, humans are the worst. Just because the art on the paladin, you know, that you would assume it's not a human, but gets me every time. Oh, mama. Time to get super triggered here. Not very nice. going on here? Phone's dying. Sorry. I don't think I need either of those. We already have enough artifacts in our hand for the, uh, the other sprite if we draw it. Okay, let's play Tome Raider here, draw an extra card, make it a 2-3. And then next turn we can just pass, holding up counter, plus Witching Will activation. Linden. Ooh. Ooh, and now I have a new game plan. Might be able to get them pretty good here this turn. If they decide to attack with the Linden, I can Witching Well. Nice. Witching Well. Make another 1 1 flyer. Equip my mantle to the untapped 1 1 I currently have. Double block the Linden. Or just eat the Charming Prince if I wanted to. But I think we'll trade one of our 1 1s for their 3 3. Similar to here, we'll just play a land, attack with just the sprite. If they block, I can mantle. But they're not going to block, and then I'll just play the 2-5, uh, 2-4. Two Uh. 
Trigger, trigger, trigger. Oh, we swarming now. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, that's why I think Mantle's good, just because of the instant speed equip factor. Right, another fine hand. We're not doing anything on turn two, likely, anyways, so. So they're gonna Rose Thorn me next turn. Uh, eat the pumpkin, bottomless mountain. Rosebud! Here comes the Rosebud! Oh, or not. Here comes the 4-3. Alright, I'll take the extra damage to keep it tapped. What? What is going on here? Rare into Mythic? Is this even fair? <laughs> I could pumpkin my Charm Sleep and Charm Sleep the Questing Beast. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to do that instead. It's got Death Touch too though, like what the hell? Well, I guess I lose. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Three mana, four, three. Four mana, four, four. Vigilance, death, touch, haste. Five mana, five, five. I accept. I accept this loss. Yeah, Questing Beast kind of poops on all my tokens, too. The mill's even worse versus their deck. They're not slow. Wait, what happened? Oh, did MTG bot completely reset and get rid of everything? Maybe. Ooh, I hope they're going for their uh, stop again. It's good too. Not today! Wow! Another sick rare! What is going on? They have Preserver, Giant, and Questing Beast? Sheesh. Slow down, homie. I can only take so much of a beating. Guess this is the play. Uh, I don't actually remember if it was working yesterday. Do not recall. These don't have an out muscle as well. Alright. Nice. 
Sling was a great draw there. Jumpage. Antelets are Witching Well get bigger than their Acolyte, but they're going to play some other creature. They're going to play like 5-5s five and not whatnot. I will block. Just pass here, holding up Sprite. Run away. It's just a chump check. I don't know. It's actually a little bit loose, because if I did something to their Keeper, I would have got in for a bit of damage. Yeah, but they also don't know what counter I have. Like, are you going to really play around a second Hypnotic Sprite? I don't know. I can turn my 4-4 into two cards. One of those 4s could even be another 4-4. Yes, we do. <sighs> Insatiable appetite. I kind of don't even want to bounce it, but yes, I will. It eats up a lot of their mana, too. They don't have to sack the food, and I, in fact, I don't think they would sack the food anyways. I mean, I should let it resolve and see if they do, but same thing as last, uh, yesterday. Like, they just have no reason to. I wouldn't have bounced the sprite if I had a two-turn clock, but it was a three-turn no matter what since they had food. That's nice, alright. That's true, if I double block then maybe they go for the food sack. More life. That is a very awkward play. Seeing as they know I'm drawing Runaway together. <laughs> uh. In fact, are they just dead? No, they're not just dead. Oh wait, were they dead if I bounced the Animating Fairy and made the Golden Egg a 4-4? Yes, I had lethal. Dang it, I missed lethal. Chad, I'm sorry, I missed lethal. Whoopsies! Ah! 
Well, <laughs> Wicked Wolf, the 2 2 Flash Preserver, the uh, Questing Beast, what else? The Giant, what else? How many rares do they have? Ugh. Might, maybe I just need to bring in the counter since they have so many good cards. Eesh. I need to restart the client. It's getting laggy. Can Beast be countered? Can it not be countered? Doesn't also have that, does it? It already has enough text as it is. It can be, okay. It doesn't do everything, it just does everything else. Well, normally they, they like they make updates to the way the bots draft, right? How long does it normally take? Oh, and they're on a mulligan to five? So you're saying there's a chance! Five, 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 five. Oh! Hello? Hello? This guy has like seven rares. Uh, guys, rich, rich. Too many people? You mean too many bots? All right, what's the last card in your hand? Because if it's questing beast, I might rage quit. That's kind of disgusting too. Holy moly. This is a mulligan to five. For the record. If they don't have a land, this is really, really good for us. I mean... They can't make it a 5-5 five five now, which is nice. Which means... We're gonna do some good stabilizing here. Watch. Watch top deck removal. Don't do it, man. Holy God! Stop it! Stop it, I can only take so much! Help! I actually need one more land, don't I? Go ahead and play the other Witching Well just because. I think I bottomed the Ratter. The Garen Brig also just stops, um, or rather attacks through them anyways. Oh, mama, we're gonna lose this one, too. <sighs> do they have their plus five, plus five? That's so insane if they do. I should be double blocking Garen, or maybe single blocking Garen Brig as well, but I, I need to turn off their card draw. Thank God. Okay. This Garen Brig is gonna hurt though. So 
So I think I'm going to play the Alliance and pass. And hope that whatever these two cards are, are not super relevant. The biggest issue here is that if they decide to ever equip the Garen Brig with the Rose, which I'm glad they didn't. I might be dead here, if they have the plus five, plus five. Fudge! Really? <laughs> Alright, GG. Disgusting. Ugh. I just got glutted with too many spells in my hand, too. Too many five drops. Yikes. Yep, very, very outskilled. They drew super well, too, man, that Keeper of Fables. Blech. Got them back in the game. GG's. Right. Let the mill commence. The only thing I wasn't going to counter there was their secret keeper. Gargoyle's good. Cannot currently block, though. Bereave? Oh, okay. We can kill it with Slaying Fire eventually. Just keep getting down our fatties. Next turn I can uh, Haggle plus play 3-3, three, three, attack for 4. Oh, now they can attack. Oh, I can't even fire it anymore! Well, that's poggers. Yikes. What if I was supposed to just kill it last turn? I think I might be able to race it, though. Worst case scenario, I end up double blocking it. Or single blocking it and then firing it off, end of turn. I could have gotten greedy. I could have like cycled the merchant, tacked for seven, um, played sprite, and then held up egg because I wouldn't have died. Oh man. All right, I'm at two. So I think what I'm going to do here is, because the Moonlight Scavenger is also a problem, I'm actually going to Mad Ratter here. 
and get two tokens right now, commit to chumping with my Vantress, and then the following turn, Sprite plus Fire. Chump, chump, chump. Oh, this is not ideal. I needed something to cantrip cheaply there. I don't think there's a way I can win anymore. I can like survive a turn, but I'm ending up chumping, bouncing my creature, bouncing theirs. I don't, I don't even think it's worth showing them any more info. Got bit in the butt by not killing that Vantress Gargoyle the turn I could. And then it got equipped. And yeah, we'll keep this. We can rummage one of our swamps. Both the merchants were already exiled. Uh oh. Or whatever. <laughs> Mountain. One island in the top 16 cards. Yowza. Yowza! <laughs> oh, rip me! <laughs> All right. Wow, wow, wow. Man, yesterday I went 5-0-5-1-5-1-5-1. Today we've gone, what, 2-2 two two into 1-2 and two or something? Holy moly. Yikes. Not very good. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.